All right, how's it going guys? Happy Sunday night. So Con and I are making a quick Sunday dinner and I'm just gonna show you quickly. We heated up some oil. <laughs> That's olive oil. So I'm just gonna show you what a quick Sunday meal looks like for us. So I've got some olive oil now. I don't measure anything and this really is just a throw together um, dinner. So it does not matter what you put in it, just put in it what you like. So we're adding an onion, okay? And then to this onion, I'm adding one zucchini that I just chopped up. It's a quick little, like a rough chop. And to this, I'm just gonna add one chopped green pepper to it. Those colors are beautiful. <laughs> I have to say before she gets the other pepper chopped up. She'll probably kill me, but I just watched her do this cool little trick cutting the peppers. <laughs> she cuts around the top of it, and then she, just all the way around in a circle, and then she takes it over to the trash can and she twists it off and scoops out the inside. I never thought about doing that. I always had to wrestle with the seeds. So, I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> She, awesome. she is awesome. Alright, this is a half of red pepper, but I'm going to put the other half in. Top it up. Alright, so there's the other half. So we have one green pepper, one red pepper. That it smells mm -hmm. good already. <laughs> I'm going to saute that around. These onions are starting to get a little, getting cooked up. At least some sugars. Starting to get a little translucent. Smell good. With some minced garlic and extra virgin olive oil. We like garlic, so we're going to add oh, that. Oh, yeah. Tablespoon. Oh, yeah. That. That. That's the good stuff. <laughs> now, over in my um, three-quart instant pot, I have some wild... Um, Should I head over? Yep, zoom on over here. So this is what I'm using, Harvest Blend uh, Wild Rice. It's a blend of white rice, brown rice. What is that? Red rice and wild rice. I don't have my it's bifocals really, on. Yeah, it's really good. It's a good blend. It's a really good blend. Yeah. So I only have one cup of rice in here with one cup of water and a little smidgen of some, um, what is it? Not so. Leon. Look at it. It just came to me. Wow. A little smidgen of I had some to stop the video <laughs> for a second. <laughs> chicken flavored better than bouillon. Just yeah. a, just a smidgen. Yeah. Um, that so. stuff's really, really pungent. Potent. Potent. Yeah, potent. it's potent. potent. So yeah. just, you just need a smidgen just to kind of flavor the rice a little bit as it um, pressure cooks. So I have that in my little three quarter. Now to this, I'm just going to crack some black pepper in here. I'm also just going to add smidgen of some sea salt and then I've got some I'm going to be using this one right here Tuscany blend sun-dried tomato and basil there it goes. <laughs> my, it's getting steamy my camera doesn't ever want to focus anymore so I'm just going to add a little bit of that to this Ooh, that smells good. It smells good, doesn't it? Fantastic. My mouth is watering. And over here, we are going to be adding chicken sausage. So I'm doing a combo of apple chicken sausage. We get this from Aldi, and it's really, really good. And then this uh, chicken sausage is the tomato and basil. So I'm just going to chop these up and um, add that to the vegetables. All right, so now this one is the tomato basil. I'm gonna throw those in. Give it a little bit of And you see it's got it's all uh, in the sausage there. A little, yeah, the flavor. Like little sun-dried tomatoes and it does have some cheese in, in it, so it's, just, it's really good. Yeah. Okay, so now this one is the apple, and this one has chunks of apple in it. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. The combo between the two is what I like, so I always get these two. You go to Aldi. Um, I mean, you pick whatever you want. They come in all different flavors, don't they, Matt? Yeah, and so. you can you can 
Uh, add different really? vegetables, whatever you'd like Onion. to do. <laughs> yeah, the, the zucchini is really nice, and I mean, I this is honestly one of my favorite, like put one of your quick dishes, put together right? meals. Yeah, I mean, this is this is probably my favorite yeah. of all the like quick meals that you do. And it's healthy. It's really easy. Literally, it's going to take us yeah. twenty minutes to make this whole thing, and that includes um, doing the uh, rice. Yeah. So and basically, what you see in the pan and everything you saw her put in is took a few minutes to do. I had if we had picked up fresh mushrooms, I forgot in the store today. Um, I throw in some fresh mushrooms in this, but whatever you like. That's the that's the key. Um, filling it with things that you like to eat and that you enjoy. So I'm gonna let this kind of saute up. We're gonna wait for our rice to finish, and then I'm gonna bring you back when our rice is done. We're gonna add it to the pot. Cool. Looking good, girl. <laughs> Looking good. This is it, right? Just yeah, this is warm it, it up. Um, in, if you didn't you cook wanna, it down a little bit. If you don't want to use the wild rice, you can use um, cauliflower rice, which is what we use a lot. We use we use the riced cauliflower quite a bit. A lot. And yeah. the first time she made this, she didn't tell me what she was making. She's like, "It's a surprise," and I came home and I was like, "What is this little?" Look at these little chunks of things. And she was like, riced cauliflower. Because we were trying to find something to use it for. And I was like, what? So I was pretty stoked when I found out she had the riced cauliflower in it. It was pretty awesome. But this is really good rice, I will say. The texture is really nice. The texture of this is really nice. It really... And you don't need a lot. No, it's a good hearty rice. You've got a, a hearty meal like yeah. this. You don't need a lot of rice. So. Yeah. And sometimes she, she'll make this with a little sauce. If she, this time she's doing a little Italian style. Yeah, I'm one doing time it more Italian. With, yeah. One time you did it with like a, like a, I, I not do a water teriyaki. chestnuts you and I do a, a, um, a very teriyaki sesame yeah. drizzle. Yeah, just, a little 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 bit, just a little bit. Oh, it was, little a kung, it was the Kung Pao sauce. Yeah, oh, the man. Kung Pao sauce. Yeah. Terrible. So you can change this whatever you want. Yeah. This is a little bit more Italian tonight, a little mm -hmm. lighter, a little simpler. It's not going to have a sauce or anything, but super easy and. It's still fantastic. Yeah. And it's yeah. chicken sausage, right? Yeah. That, I, just, count, I count chicken sausage just, as healthy. Yeah, <laughs> just, yeah. Just the flavors in the sausage with the, ch the chicken apples, great. The tomato basil, they have a spinach and feta. Um, they also have they have an Italian um, seasoning one that's not the tomato basil, um, and they even have a chipotle cheddar one. So they've got a couple different. Uh, depending on your Aldi's and where you are, they'll carry different ones. But uh, now here's our chicken rice. and apples, really good. So I'm just gonna kind of fluff that a little bit. Oh yeah. And then we're going to go ahead and add it right to oh, yeah. and the kids all love this too yeah so it, i don't we don't have to make them something separate they they eat this as well and i'm just going to toss them yeah away. i mean prep time is five minutes five minutes and just a matter of cooking it and then getting so it all want incorporated. A fast, easy meal. Yeah. It, it can be healthy. It doesn't have to be, you know, doesn't have to, it can be fast food your way. Yeah, and you can use right? whatever, whatever protein you, you can use whatever protein you want. You can do some chicken, you can do some beef, you can whatever you know, um, stew meat or beef tips or whatever you want to do. This is just nice and easy because it's it's already sausages are already good to go. You just mm -hmm. cook them down a little bit and yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right, I'm going to let that finish up, and then we're going to top it off and plate it. Beautiful. Right, so we're just going to get a little plate here from Matt so he can taste test it for you. Mm -hmm. Just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. <laughs> a smidgen. Now she is going to finish this off with some... Just a She's going to finish this off with some grated parmesan. Look at that. Fresh. Alright. 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 Let me give it a shot. Alright. Right, took off the glasses for this because <laughs> I'm Get that zucchini. Let me get one piece of sausage and not get greedy. <laughs> get some of that rice. Oh, the zucchini's still nice and crispy. That's it. 
boy. <laughs> red Good. pepper. Yeah, it's got the green bell. There's a nice little bite. Red pepper sweet. The onions are perfect. They're they're not mushy, and they're still got a little bit of a little bit of snap to them. With they're a little bit translucent. Mmm. And yeah. that rice is firm. Um, Fantastic. Er everyone's gonna want to know how much weight you've lost to date. To date, 71 pounds. 71 pounds. To date. Congratulations, Thank baby. You. <laughs> so, I got another 80 to go. So, uh, people are going to be like, look sick. We'll see. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know several of you have asked me if I could show just some of the things that Matt and I have been eating um, during, you know, you know, getting just eating a little healthier. And um, so I figured, you know what, we might as well show you. It's a quick Sunday night meal. Um, the kids love it. And it's pretty. I mean, it's got every color you can think of in there, right? Make it. So make it your own. Add what you like. Enjoy it. Um, you know, eating a little healthier doesn't have to have to be a punishment, right? <laughs> doesn't have to be depressing. It doesn't have to be bland. You know, I think seasoning is the key. Lots of flavor, lots of color, making it look pretty. Um, I just like making things look pretty anyway because, you know, you just enjoy tasting it more. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. And I will see you guys back tomorrow when I will be uh, showing you how I uh, feed my sourdough starter out of the fridge. All right, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye, guys.